When I wake up in the morning, I got sunshine on my mind. My body gets to moving, and I've got a little time. Twenty extra minutes, but five is all I need. We could do the quick and dirty and catch some more these. Ooh, I got that fire, got that fever. Hey, welcome back to the Morning Wood Show. I am Oprah Winfrey, and this is my good girlfriend, Gail King. This is Richie Sky. <laughs> That's the Mom Maurice Bouvier, and this is the Morning Wood Show. Hey, welcome back. We miss you all so much. Um, we took a brief break just to bring you something really special um, last week. We enjoyed it, and um, we think that you'll begin to enjoy it um, over time. Let me tell y'all, we did that because he had to go to Atlanta. He had to go get his party on. Yeah. So we wanted to still be able to bring y'all some, you know, some good wood. So that's what we did. Right. But now we're back for another regular episode and we are happy to be back. To bring you more wood. Cheers. To Cheers. the freaking weekend. So I went to Atlanta. Um, I've always wanted to live in Atlanta, but for some reason I just don't connect with Atlanta. You know, it's like the black gay mecca. And I just... I don't connect. Every time I go to Atlanta, it's just like, oh, okay, I'm here. I'm in Atlanta. It's kind of like if I went to Africa and I didn't connect with the motherland. Like, oh. you, you don't look black. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I am mean, you black. Know, what I'm saying, what I, I mean, I'm a country boy, so I, I mean, now I haven't been to Atlanta in a couple of years, so, you know, somebody trying to fly me down there, you could definitely do so. But no, I, I feel like you know it's country. So and I'm a country boy, so I like it. I, I love that down south southern feel. Okay, it wasn't country. I just I I, I don't know. But anyway, um, what have you been up to? Um, let's see. You know, well, last weekend I had an opportunity to DJ at Tabak last Friday. Yes, for DJ Richie Scott. A birthday, <laughs> right, right, right. For two of our good buddies, uh, Reginald and Brandon. Shout out to them. And shout out to Tabak for, you know, having us there because uh, I think we had a good time. Yeah, we, we definitely had a good time. We didn't expect the snow when we came out, but um, we had a good time. Anyway. That was crazy. But um, we have something really, really exciting that's about to happen to the Morning Wood Show. The Morning Wood Show is headed to New York City. Yeah, boy. Richie Sky and I have been invited to come to New York City. We are going to be on um, a television show called Finding Wisdom because we are wise. And, and we want... have good wood wisdom. Good wood wisdom. So we're going to go to New York and give them some good wood. And um, just stay tuned. We'll let you know when it's going to air, where it's going to show, and how you can tune in and see us in a different environment. Um, and shout out to my girl Val because she really was instrumental in getting us to New York City. Holla. And hopefully we'll be in New York City a lot more. But never fear because we will still be bringing you regular episodes. Oh, we're definitely going to keep you of the wood. regular wood. So just stay on the lookout. Yes. But we got a lot to talk about today. Yes, let's talk about my president. My president is so cool. There's a viral clip of him singing Al Green's Last Day Together. I mean, does it get any better than the president singing Al Green, Let's Stay Together? I mean, he's just cool. He gets mad points for that. I don't understand why he got props for that. I mean, because... If I was singing <laughs> Al Green somewhere, nobody's going to give me props. You're not the president. <laughs> but I'm just saying, even still, what, am I going to get a raise for that? I mean, I get it, but, you know, it's kind of like... Are you black? I mean, last I checked, I didn't follow it. Let me ask my mom. Okay, call your mom uh, while we go on and <laughs> find out if you're black. I mean, to me, it was like, you know, I mean, swagger. I mean, it's a cool moment, but he it's He's still like... giving his little black man pimp. He's still giving, you know, fist bumps and dap. And, and he's, still, he's still doing the damn thing. He's running the country mm -hmm. with swagger. Mm -hmm. With a beautiful first lady mm -hmm. on his arm. Mm -hmm. so, and a dog, too. And we want him back. So make sure you get out and vote. Get that him. is important. Oh, yo, yo, State of Union. Make sure y'all watch and talk about that. I'm sure, you know, by the point time y'all see this, it'll be done. Yeah. But make sure you are conversing about it and make sure we stay in tune to what's going on with that nation. Because we're going to have a State of the Union, too. Huh? We are. Yeah. I think we should do it in, like, March, though. Sure. Okay. Like, you know. We'll be ready. By then, we'll have some things that we need you all to do. And 
we'll let you know some things that we're going to do. So we're going to have a State of the Union of the Morning Wood. Hmm. I like it. It's a I good like idea. It. You think well on your feet. But um, moving right along, um, we hope that you all went out and supported the movie Red Tails this weekend. Um, as you saw, it came in second, but um, it's a really good movie and it's a really important movie uh, for you all to go out and support and check it out and um, make sure that Hollywood know that we want to be there. So. And that we want to be represented. Of course. In a film. Of course. Can you imagine just, one day somebody's going to make a movie like Red Tails about us? It'll be called Wood Tails. No, they can actually keep it Red Tails. But they may have to put it in a, <laughs> <laughs> in a different section of the store. <laughs> like behind the I'm totally road. done. I can't even talk about George. Let me, say, let me just say this, though. I must acknowledge George Lucas because, you know, he, he actually financed this movie by himself. He I, has I, enough I think, money, but I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, he, you know, that's he's a he's, he's he, he didn't have to do that, and I think he it, did it. That's it's cool great. that he had that vision okay. and he followed through with it. So shout out to George Lucas for that and his entire team. Shout out to the Tuskegee Airmen. Amen. Because without them, you wouldn't have a story. Right. Okay. So, Bam. Oscar news. <sighs> okay, so I just want to say I'm <laughs> excited that the Help was nominated for. Yay, best picture. Octavia Spencer nominated for best supporting actress, and Viola Davis nominated for best actress. However, However, I'm a little bit upset because Mary J. Blige's song "The Living Proof" was not nominated in the category for I think uh, best song, okay. and they only nominated two songs this year. Hmm. That's crazy. They normally do like at least five. So I know she was a little bit saddened by that, but you know, shout out to Mary J. Blige because oh, she's Mary's you know, doing it. So you know, she's always putting it down. But she's always yes, the help. I'm so excited. I'm and really that's ex- I care. That's all I care about the Oscars, really. I mean, I'm sure there's some other people that are nominated that are great, but you know how we are. We get in front of the TV, want to see who are the black people <laughs> that are going to be on the red carpet. Who are the black people that are going to perform? Who are the black people that are going to win? But you know what? I, I sometimes want to go see some of the other movies that were nominated, even if I don't necessarily think I can identify with them. We, we can do that. I mean, you know, every year I say I want to see all the movies. We should do that and do like a little review. Mm-hmm. I won't commit to that, though, because I'm, I'm not really serious. No. But, but it sounds like a good idea. Or if you want to take us to see all of the movies um, that are nominated, we'll go. Or tell us what your favorite one was. Or take we'll us. We need dates. But anyway, <laughs> what would you wear if you were on the red carpet? Um, you I know mean, what? just the designer. I, mean, I don't need you ah, giving me okay. the description um, and the. I cut. would say, you know, any any suits by Dolce and Gabbana always, I think, easy. I don't think you have to think about that, especially guys. We don't have to. I mean, it could be by. I mean, it could be by Ross. <laughs> you know, as long as the tuxedo looks good. And you would be on Joel day. Rivers' show <laughs> <laughs> the very next day. <laughs> and That's I why they hire stylists. That we would not be on the carpet together because <laughs> I don't want your Ross next to my Tom Ford. <laughs> Whatever. Who's going to know? My Ross is going to look just like your Tom Ford? <laughs> because when they ask me what I'm wearing, I'm going to say I'm in and Tom you, do Ford. Do you think I'm going to say Ross? You don't have to. I'm, I'm going to say. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to say he went to Ross Dress for Versace. Versace. And your Dolce Gabbana. Exactly. And your Gucci. <laughs> That's an interesting but question, yes. though. I mean, I, yes. I wonder what I would wear. I think, I mean, it's for guys, I mean, all we do is what? A black tuxedo? A black tuxedo. black suit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Keep it, keep it cool, natural. Definitely. Smooth. Definitely smooth. You want to, you know, not but, cost too much attention. But if my alter ego... Virginia Alexandria Bouvier was on the red carpet. Oh, she would be a glamazon. <laughs> you have an alter ego? I have an alter ego, um, Virginia Alexandria Bouvier. Uh, this is so funny because she... <laughs> I mean, this sounds like a desi- like somebody from Designing Women. <laughs> Pretty much. Virginia is just real quick. I don't want to talk about her too much because she's a mess. Virginia is like your drunk, bougie aunt. That nobody really wants to tell her that she has an alcohol problem. So that's my alter ego. And people who know me, they know Virginia. And they love Virginia. You know what? People ask me why I drink on the show. And this is why I have <laughs> because to have Because you have to deal with, with me and Because all I have this. to deal with this and these multiple personalities. So, you know, 
Oh, and then there's Shantae Bouvier. But we won't talk about her because she likes to tell. Fight! Speaking of fighting, ugh, Heidi Klum and Seal are getting a divorce. That's just sad. I, I feel like everybody's breaking up. Everybody's got a divorce. I mean, it's not sad to me, but it's just like these Hollywood marriages. I'm like, really? If we really want to ban gay marriages, I say we allow gay marriages and we ban Hollywood marriages. I think you should ban divorce. I don't know. Some some shit. I mean, sorry. <laughs> some stuff just don't work out. We can't ban divorce because some things you just need no, to No, I'm get saying out if you won't allow certain <laughs> people to get married, don't allow certain people to get divorced. Live with that. Think about it. Okay. You've been sentenced to hell. <laughs> <laughs> till, till hell do you but part. If you think about it. I think that's appropriate. I mean, you want to talk about the sanctity of marriage, then stop the divorce. There you go. Oh, well, Aretha is stopping <laughs> divorce. A few weeks ago, Aretha announced that she was going to marry her longtime boo. Wait, Aretha who? Aretha Franklin. Do you know another Aretha? How old is she? Aretha Jenkins or... <laughs> <laughs> what other Aretha could I be talking about? How old is she? She's still alive. Back to me. Aretha <laughs> changed her mind. And I don't blame her. Sometimes you... Look. You get all caught up. You get all emotional. Wait, hold on. So the story was she was going to get, get married. Then she, she changed, changed her mind. Her mind. For real. <laughs> For real. I mean, I would rather her change her mind than to end up like Kim Kardashian. I, Aretha, I say get married, get divorced in 72 days. I mean, Aretha, real, I what? say <laughs> stay single. Keep that nigga... <laughs> Keep that you know, man's name look, look, <laughs> off of your papers and why? off of your money. Stay single. Keep getting that morning wood. If you think about it, Aretha is always doing something scandalous in the news. So this would actually be par for the course. I think she should go ahead, get married, and get divorced within three days. Top Kim Kardashian all together. <laughs> Bam. Anyway, we don't want Aretha to do that. We want Aretha to go ahead and, you know, just enjoy it. Everybody doesn't have to get married. Marriage is not for everybody, so you know, just enjoy the wood. Are you? Do you want to get married? Absolutely. I want to get married. In a I church. want to get ma- in a church. I don't <laughs> want to get married in a church. It is. It, it has nothing to do with anything other than um, I've already planned my wedding in my head, and I haven't seen a church that would match um, the decor. What do you want? The, the Sistine Chapel. Um. I don't know. Maybe I'll get married in Union Station. But I don't want to tell too many details of my wedding because I don't any, want anyone to steal my ideas. So, do you want to get married? I do, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I want to get married outside though, on the beach. I want to get married. He wants to get married. So, if you all want to get married... Find somebody else because we're not getting ready to get married. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not ready to get married. I was about That's to marry you happen. off. You got nervous. That's okay. You got we won't be nervous. doing that. We will not be doing that. Mm. And that's fine. But when the right time comes, I would like to be married. And um, I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with someone special. But, you know, it just comes a time when everyone thinks that they're special. Like, you're special. Yes, you are. Special as in three people were in your class when you were in school. Speaking of special, (laughs) I gotta say, I gotta say, shout out to Etta James and her family. She died. Are you um, shouting her out and she died? I am. I am. People still listen to her music. Is she here? (laughs) Etta! (laughs) She is with us in spirit, so I just want to say, Miss Etta James, we love you. Rest in peace, Etta. Although I don't really have any of her music on my iTunes or anything like that. I don't own that out of uh, Etta James album. I just know that she sang at last. Rest in peace. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no shade. Rest in peace. I really, I don't want people to think I'm disrespectful. No. Um, to death. But I thought. But I was, had to acknowledge that because that was like huge. She was, like she was here. <laughs> I thought we was about to have a wake <laughs> on the oh, Morning Wood show for Etta. <laughs> Rest in peace, Etta. Um, so, I think we had a pretty, um, full week. We got a lot of stuff we got to do. Y'all don't understand 
how much we appreciate all of our fans, everyone that's retweeting the show, everyone that's sharing the show on Facebook. You know, we're going to have a Team Morningwood because we see everything that you do. We see all of your conversations about the show. We appreciate it. Mm-hmm. I want to shout out my good boy, Courtney, because Courtney, you are like the president of the Morningwood show. Every day I wake up and there's something that you have said about our show and trying to get people to follow us. So um, we appreciate that so much. Um, keep your eyes on us. Keep us on your minds. We're about to be everywhere. We're going places. We're going to the top. It's the Morning Woods Show. Enjoy your day. We love you. Thanks for watching the Morning Woods Show. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to subscribe to all of our videos. I won't stop till I'm done and what